day guys, Austin here and in this quick video tutorial or whatever you want to call it is my guide to, well, basically you've tried everything you can to get a game working in Rocket Launcher or Hyper Launch or HQ or whatever you want to call it, fucking hell, nowadays, um, but you still cannot get it to work. Obviously you've watched all my previous videos in the sequence to this and it still can't get it to work and you're exhausted. You've exhausted every path you know so far. Right, here's how else you can get it to work. First off, do a bit of reading. Go on to uh, websites uh, such as Hyperspin, Rocket Launcher website. I'll put all the links below as per normal. Um, take a look at those and well basically there's a wealth of knowledge of people probably 99% of the time with exactly the same issue as what you're having. Um, all you need to do is well have a look <laughs> and, and try and find. Of course some of you are lazy, I'm lazy myself and you can't be asked looking so you might ask a little question here and there, I don't mind that at all. Come on to my uh, YouTube channel, come to my Facebook, whatever, PM me, make a thread somewhere, I don't care and I'll do my best to answer you the best I can. Um, of course you know, I get inundated with thousands of fucking questions every day and I can't answer them all. So sometimes you have to go a little bit further. I will try my best by the way, but I'm only human. I don't shit bricks. I don't shit gold bricks, should I say. Anyway, off topic, rambling, whatever. Um, so, you've done that, you've... I can't help you that much, or you're not getting no response from me, you're going around in circles, it's doing your head in. So, what else can you do? Okay, first off, like I said, go to the Hyper Launch website. Uh, sorry, Rocket Launcher website, whatever the fuck it's called nowadays, go there. Um, they will help you, because obviously this is tied more into the Hyper Launch. So Hyper Spin, yes, they are very good and they will help you. But Hyper Launch website or Rocket Launcher website, they are more akin to helping you in this situation, because you're running it through their program at this moment in time. Once you've got it running in Hyper Launch, then you should have no issues, really. I mean, the fault finding on the Hyper Spin itself is actually really simple. Um, we'll go on to those videos in a minute, but yeah, it, it's easy. So, yeah, have a look at that so far, and if all else fails, everything's fucking up, I'll show you how to get help the best way. Now, here you go. Take yourself over to the website. Let's have a look at this, for example. Let's have a quick discussion. So this is Hyperspin website, for example. Now, you can imagine, this has been running for some years, and people come here for help. No problem there. Now, what you get here is, though, uh, people, they've just got excited, they've just installed everything, they've jumped over things, and they've got things running. Obviously, they haven't been watching my videos, because most of the problems in here are solved in my videos, for a start. <laughs> so help them out and point them to my videos <laughs> now but in all seriousness yeah they come on here and they ask problems and they are valid problems but they're so simple and they can be rectified very easily but they see the problem is that what they do is they put like they put it in the wrong section for a start annoys people and they put it in a shit title it just says help or something I mean come on I mean they get inundated daily with people asking for help no problem they will move heaven and earth to help you and yeah they can be a bit rough sometimes but that's because they're pissed off because you just put in the wrong section you've titled it help you fucking um, just said my hyperspin's not working and they say well what the fuck what are we supposed to do should we just come around your house and sort it out for you you've got to give them something to go off so this is how to help them help you and trust me if you put this in there on the first post they'll be coming all over the pants they'll be fucking chisms everywhere now here's how you do it first off go to your um, well don't go to the well yeah go to the website <laughs> first off take yourself to your hyperspin setup two second thing honest trust me now you've been fucking spending hours trying to get your hyperspin working but it's not playing ball so take yourself to your hyperspin setup set up uh, or launch hyper launch hq or rocket launcher fuck's sake so confusing it's all the same thing we just renamed it that's all wait for this to load up Come on, come on, you can do this. Yep, here we go. So here's your Hive Launch setup. Now, by doing this, honest, they will be all over you. So, first things first, take yourself to the global tab. 
you've got a system that's not working and it's pissing you off first off go to the global tab you've you've exhausted every possibility it could be on my videos you've looked on the websites not helping global tab general settings takes over to the log a bit here and here you will see logging level at the moment mine's set to error which I think it's done as default anyway um, all you need to do is put that onto troubleshooting boom done now what you need to do is take yourself over to uh, well once that's done you need to take yourself over to the system that's not working for you so I don't know say so for example mine's the Sega Genesis I'm going to click onto that now what I would do is do exactly what's fucking up basically so obviously you can't get your games to run so you would order the system obviously mine's working so it's hard for me to show this but I'll probably get some kind of report from this so I've got Sega Genesis all the games aren't working most probably I click the rocket it launches and it fucks up something's wrong and you can't figure that fucker out so what you've done is you've set your logging level to troubleshooting now hyper launch is pretty cool it remembers everything that it's just done now we've just set it to trouble uh, shooting so it remembers a bit more or more detailed for the troubleshooting side of it now in order for you to get more help from hyperspin or hyper launch or rocket launcher on the websites take yourself over to the log level here log viewer should I say now see this little um, symbol here click on that boom now what it's done is it's given you a report of everything that you've just been doing so you've just loaded a game and it's not worked what it's done is it's made a report for everything since you opened hyperlaunch it's logged it so when the guys over at hyperspin and things like that look at your log they can see exactly what system you're running what uh, steps you've done what your configuration is and more importantly where your actual um, error is, if you get what I mean, because it'll show up to them. It's plain, maybe not to you. It's all fucking voodoo and gibberish to you, but to them, they're just fucking. I don't know. Just come everywhere because they, they love this kind of shit. So yeah, take yourself to that. You've got the information now. What you need to do is translate it to them. Easiest way. See this little um, what's it called? Fucking clipboard thing here do that log contents copy to clipboard success yay crowds are cheering press ok now what that's done although it doesn't look like it's done much apart from give you a little pop-up box is it's copied it all to clipboard so now you can exit out of here you can take yourself over to the uh, hyper launch website or rocket launcher website or hyperspin whichever is more relevant obviously in this situation it would be uh, the rocket launcher website or the hyper launch fuck me it's confusing um, take yourself over to their website now I'll do it on the hyperspin one just for example um, go into your forums obviously um, let's make a new thread I don't want to actually post this because it'll <laughs> it'll piss people off because I haven't got the power to unpost it um, Okay, well, I'll show you how to do it anyway, and it will. When you do it, it will post good. Okay, post new thread. Obviously, you should all know to fucking use a forum. Jesus. Um, okay, title. First off, make sure it's fucking relevant. So I don't know. It's in the correct topic. So you, I don't know. You've got the hyper launch topic area, and within there, you've gone in there. You've made a thread, and the title of it will be relevant to the system. So hyper launch um, Genesis not booting or something. You know, your games don't work. So that's a good example for that situation. Um, so yep, yeah, that's your title. Uh, hyper launch not booting. You know, it's not perfect, but at least it's some information. Oh, sorry, hyper launch Genesis. So you know what system it is. Okay, now within here, you need to give them also some feedback, although they will be able to do it from the logs. So you can put, say, for example, uh, I'm running Genesis. Oh, fuck it, I can't spell Genesis through RetroArch. Because they're telling them what emulate you're running Genesis through. Um, does not boot 
this is an example. Obviously, yours is fucking different. <laughs> Does not boot black screen on launch. Okay, so there you go. You give them the basic info. You tell them that it's your Genesis uh, system. You, you run it through RetroArch, and what actually the problem is. So you give them some kind of fucking food for thought. Now, now you've already clipped put this in your clipboard. So is there actually a uh, a clipboard thing here? Wrap HTML. No. Wrap code. That's the fucker. Okay, so can we click on this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you click on the little hashtag thing here, and this will bring up this in your uh, comments bit. Basically, now, because you've already got it copied to clipboard, all you need to do is where that where it's flashing at the moment, you want to put all the gubbins that's between, that you've just put in your clipboard in there. So all you need to do is right click, paste. Now, this has gone fucking massive. Obviously, your logs will be huge, because you will have errors, and it'll be logging stuff, and all that good stuff. Now it may look like bullshit at this moment in time, but I'm not going to do it now because it'll make a dodgy um, thread. <laughs> that won't make any sense to anybody. And people will actually be trying to solve this problem and it make me look stupid, so I'm not going to post it. But if I was to post this now, what would happen is I would have this title at the top and we're in between where it says cold and cold, I would have like a little box. So your problems may go on for pages, which pisses people off because it takes up a whole scrolling down, scrolling down, looking through all your logs just to find one little thing. Now if you put the code thing in beforehand, what it does is it compresses it all into one little box so they can just scroll that little box down to find the problem. Trust me, it, it, it helps people and they will love this kind of shit. Now all you need to do is once that's done, press pay, uh, sorry, submit new thread and it's done. Done. Now somebody with a bit of ounce of knowledge and someone will be impressed first of all that you put it in the right area, you give it a good title, you give a good description of what the problem is and most of all that you give them a log to go off. So trust me, the problem will be fixed in no time. And there you go. That is that. That is that up and running. Easy as that. Okay, now all you need to do is obviously keep tracks in the forum and make sure people uh, are actually answering it and to respond to it, don't just leave it. And if you have solved it, please tell them that it's solved. Because there's nothing worse than keeping it open and people are like, oh, what the fuck? And then it, if anybody else comes across your thread, they too will be like, oh, they solved it by doing that. I had the exact same error. See, always helping, always thinking all the time. Right, so one last thing to do for this one is let's drop out of here, let's open up our hyper launch again, or rocket launch or whatever you want to call it. Now it used to didn't be well, it used to didn't my English has gone crap since I've been drinking. Um it wasn't the case, was not the case earlier, um and the other previous versions of hyper launch. But on this one, it does seem to be throwing people into a bit of errors. So, take yourself over to, once you've logged it and everything's done and you're waiting for your feedback, what you want to do is actually turn this back from troubleshooting back to error. Yeah? So what's that done is it's it's not writing as much stuff. Uh, it's not taking as many logs. So it's less resources taken for running hyperlaunch when you launch a game. Some people have been noticing with the uh, when they've started running the games that they get a little stutter from that as well. So once you've actually done your login, you've posted it, and it's all done with, uh, change that back to error, and then you know you won't forget about it and you won't have them kind of issues so uh, once you've done it return it back to the way it was okay and that is that for the hyper launch if you know I can't help you you get onto that stage then other people may be able to help you and the best way of doing it is by doing that now yes I've waffled all the way fucking through these tutorials but hopefully it's not only helped you but it's taught you a thing or two also um, look forward now, I'm going to be moving on to the actual hyperspin side of it. All these previous tutorials have mostly been about hyperlaunch. The next lot are going to be about hyperspin. But once you've got it up and running in hyperlaunch, then we can move on to hyperspin because that's the logical way of actually setting up the system. So your problems will be from there all the way up to hyperspin. Okay, well enough of me waffling. You guys have fun and I hope that we've solved some problems for you. Laters.